Hi everyone, I hope you've been enjoying the course so far. And in this section, we are going to cover the CICD part. So CICD is an important DevOps practice, which is helpful for shortening the delivery of our software applications. CI stands for continuous integration, and it allows us to develop, test, and package our code in a structured fashion. Whereas CD stands for continuous delivery, and is responsible for delivering our integrated code to a variety of applications that are dependent on it. This architecture represents a complete CI-CD pipeline, which we will be implementing for uh, within our use case uh, for our workshop. It uses GitHub Actions to automatically trigger the jobs to build, test, and deploy our service for every new commit or code change to our repository. The goal of our CI-CD pipeline is to execute tests, define our infrastructure, uh, and build and push a, a container image for our service to a certain repository, and update the task definition for, for our Lambda. Uh, and this will be done for every commit to the GitHub repository. We'll implement two workflows, one each for CI and CD, the continuous integration workflow will consist of two jobs and will be triggered when we create a pull request from a feature branch for our new commits to the repo. It will be responsible to auto test our inferent service locally and on cloud and with the unit tests and integration tests that you manually executed in the previous videos. It will also run the uh, Terraform plan on our specified uh, Terraform state file to compile and validate any infrastructure changes. The continuous delivery workflow will have one job with a series of steps and will be triggered only when your pull request is up approved and merged to the main or a developed branch. The first section will be to define the infrastructure using Terraform. This will basically repeat the steps from our previous section and automate the TF apply step to auto generate the infrastructure if the TF plan detects any changes and, and if these changes are approved. The second section is the build and push part, which will build the Docker image for our Lambda service and then push it to our ECR repository. And the third section is the deploy part. Once a new version of your Lambda function is published, the deploy step will update the Lambda config so that it can run across multiple environments such as dev, stage, or prod with the environment variables we currently provide. But note that we had already deployed the first version of our Lambda image in the Terraform uh, section. So this step in the CI-CD workflow just ensures that the application logic is kept fresh regardless of the changes in our infrastructure. That is why these two steps are decoupled in our um, CI-CD workflows. For our pipeline, we'll choose GitHub Actions that provide us with some standard VMs uh, or virtual machines to execute our jobs such as tests without setting up any infrastructure. So let's now move on to creating our first GitHub workflow, which is the continuous integration one. 